The new Hyperdeck Shuttle from Blackmagic Design records uncompressed 1920 by 1080 file-based video from HD cameras or any other source with an HDMI or SDI connection. Perfect for filmmakers and visual effects artists, it is an affordable way to acquire footage with the utmost quality. The Hyperdeck Shuttle records onto commonly available SSDs or solid state drives. Check with Blackmagic for a list of recommended models such as this one shown here. Although the Hyperdeck Shuttle has a USB 2.0 port, you should get a hard drive docking station which allows you to connect the SSD to your computer via a high speed USB 3.0 or eSATA port. This dock happened to use eSATA, so I plugged it into the eSATA port on a new HP EliteBook mobile workstation, which also has USB 3.0 ports. Before you can start recording onto the drive, however, it needs to be formatted in the HFS Plus file format. This is quickly and easily done in Windows 7 by using Mac Drive by Media4. Once it's ready, simply pop the drive out of the dock and slide it into the Hyperdeck shuttle. An HDMI or SDI cable carries the uncompressed HD signal into the Hyperdeck shuttle from the camera. Another cable can then be connected from the HDMI out port to a field monitor. When everything is ready, simply turn on the Hyperdeck shuttle and press the record button to start recording uncompressed HD footage. When your scene is over, press stop to halt the recording. The play button allows you to watch the recorded clips. There are also buttons to advance to the next and previous clips. After a shoot, back in the studio, the dock has been connected to my editing station, which happens to consist of a powerful HP Z800 workstation and the stunning HP ZR30W high-resolution display. Remove the SSD from the Hyperdeck shuttle and place it into the dock. Thanks to the dock speedy connection, it's easy to preview the recorded clips as well as slip them into my cut while they're still on the SSD. Here I am scrubbing through some of the footage I recorded onto the drive with the Hyperdeck shuttle. Once I decide what to keep, I'll transfer the files onto the RAID in the Z800 to use in the final edit. Then I'll erase the SSD in order to use it for the next shoot. Clips recorded with the Hyperdeck Shuttle are fully compatible with Adobe Premiere Pro, but they also work well with every major editing program.